One of the questions I love the most are the ones with the missing shape. You're presented with 3x3 three three matrix. Eight of the nine matrix squares have shapes, and there is one where shape is missing. You need to find the missing shape by looking at four different choices. Choices A, B, C, and D. Please take a close look to see if you can come up with the solution. Are you ready? Because I am moving forward to share with you my version. And obviously, if you have a better way to solve it, please make sure to post in comments. Let me first add some references to the matrix. We will name columns A, B, and C, and we will name rows 1, 2, and 3. And you probably noticed here, but column C values represent shaded intersection of column A shapes. And considering this, column B values are just a distraction and do not influence answer in any way. For example, C1 shape is just a reflection of A1 shape with the crossed shaded areas. Same with the relationship between the C2 and A2 shapes. Considering this, the correct choice here is choice B, where triangle and square are intersecting, and there is a shaded gray area on the intersection. Do you have a better solution? Please make sure to post it in comments. Have you ever dreamed of finding the tree where money grows on the branches? Now is your opportunity. You're presented with three money trees, and the fourth one is missing. You have four different choices to choose from to find the correct money tree. Choices A, B, C, and D. Take a close look to see if you can find the right matching one. Maybe pause this video to see if you can come up with the solution. On my end, I am moving forward to share with you my version of the answer. And obviously, if you have a better way to solve it, please make sure to post in comments. Amazing problem, isn't it? But to solve it, you need to take a close look at the tree. In this picture, each tree is different based on the number of leaves, number of branches, and calculated value at the bottom of the tree. And to calculate the value, you need to multiply total number of leaves by total number of branches on the tree. For example, first tree has seven leaves and seven branches and the number at the bottom is calculated as 7 by 9 equals 63. Second tree has 9 leaves and 9 branches, and 9 multiplied by 9 equals 81. Third tree is missing, but the fourth tree has 13 leaves and 9 branches, and 13 multiplied by 9 equals 117. So to calculate the missing value on the third tree, you need to multiply 11 leaves by 9 branches and 11 multiplied by 9 equals 99. What's interesting here is that choices A, B and C all have value at the bottom of 99. But the correct choice here is only choice B. Because only choice B has 11 leaves and 9 branches and multiplying 11 by 9 equals actually 99 which matches the formula. So the correct choice here is choice B. Hopefully you've nailed this question and now know how to answer similar problems on the test. And here's the practice question for you. In the practice question, I'm not going to share with you the answer. Instead, you would need to solve this question on your own and post your answer in the comment section of this video so I can give you my feedback. In this question, you're presented with unusual shape sequence and you need to find the missing item which is represented by the question box. You have four different choices for the missing number. Choice A, 5. Choice B, 6. Choice C, 7. And choice D, 8. Do you think the different colors of the shape play a role in the sequence here? Are you ready? Please make sure to post your answer in the comment section of this video so I can give you my feedback. Thanks for participating and good luck! Here is a rather unexpected question you might frequently see on the test. You need to determine during which period revenue declined and you're presented with the profit and loss chart that covers periods from 2018 to 2024. On the chart, you see three lines representing revenue, expenses and taxes. And you need to select the final answer out of four different choices. Choice A, 
the period between 2018 and 2020. Choice B, the period between 2019 and 2020. Choice C, the period between 2020 and 2021. And choice D, the period between 2023 and 2024. Give yourself a little bit of time, maybe pause this video to see if you can come up with the solution. I am pretty sure that by now you found it, but I am going to move forward and reveal you my version of the solution anyway. And if you know the better way to solve it, please make sure to post in comments. The way I see it is that the revenue goes down between the period of 2020 and 2021, which is represented by the blue line. In 2020, the revenue was about 9.5 units, and then in 2021, it went down to approximately 8.5 units. All other highlighted periods in the question indicate revenue increases. Did you see it differently? Please make sure to post your answer in comments. One of my favorite questions is where you need to calculate the missing value. You're presented with three equations, and in fourth equation, the result is missing. The first equation is 23 multiplied by blue parrot plus a red parrot equals 41. Second equation, 19 plus blue parrot plus blue parrot equals 31. Third equation is 10 multiplied by blue parrot plus red parrot equals 72. And last but not least expression is 26 plus red parrot multiplied by blue parrot equals missing value. You need to select missing value out of four possible choices. Choices A, 83. Choice B, 90. Choice C, 98. And choice D, 107. Take a close look to see if you can calculate the answer. And on my end, I am moving forward to share with you my version of the solution. And obviously, if you have a better way to solve it, please make sure to post in comments so we can all learn. For simplicity, let's create variables. We will use B for blue parrot and we will use R for red parrot. So the first step here is to create and solve an expression. And the easiest one to solve is the second expression with two blue parrots. 19 plus B plus B equals 31, which means the 2B equals 31 minus 19, which equals 12. Once we solve it, we see that B, blue parrot, equals 6. Knowing the value for blue parrot, we can solve first expression. 23 plus B plus R equals 41, which means that 23 plus 6 plus missing variable R equals 41. After the calculations, R equals 41 minus 29 equals 12. Technically, we don't even need a third expression because having first and second expression allows us to solve both variables. But let's use third expression to verify that our calculations are correct. 10 multiplied by blue parrot B plus red parrot R equals 10 multiplied by 6 plus 12. 10 multiplied by 6 equals 60. 60 plus 12 equals 72. Now it's time to calculate the missing number. 26 plus red parrot multiplied by blue parrot equals 26 plus 12 multiplied by 6 equals 26 plus 72 equals 98. So the correct answer is choice C, 98. Hopefully you've nailed this question on your own and now know how to solve similar problems on the test. Here's an amazing question which tests your analytical skills. You presented with the set of diamonds. Each diamond has other objects inside, and you need to find the missing diamond, which is diamond number four. You have four different choices to choose from. Choices A, B, C, and D. Take a close look to see if you can come up with the right solution. Are you ready? Do you have the answer? Let me move forward and share with you my version of the solution. And obviously, if you have a better way to solve it, please make sure to post in comments. As with a lot of other questions, the key to answer this question is to detect the pattern. If you look closely, you will see the diamonds filled with the arrowheads, triangles, which are moving in a different direction. The direction of the arrowheads 
rotates 90 degrees clockwise with every next shape in the pattern. For example, in the first shape, they move to the 12 o'clock position of the clock. Then they move to the 3 o'clock position and then to the 6 o'clock. So if you detected this pattern in the missing shape, the arrowheads should be at the 9 o'clock position. Hopefully you've nailed this question and now know how to answer similar problems on the test. I have a surprise for you. I have a question for you to test your skills now. Please take a close look at the picture and see if you can come up with the next item in the sequence. You have four different choices to choose the right answer from. Choices A, B, C, and D. Give yourself a few seconds to see if you can come up with the solution. Do you see the answer? If you found the answer, please make sure to post it in comments. Thanks for participating and good luck! Here is an amazing question where you need to determine relationships between the objects. You are presented with the two pairs of objects. In the first example, a red rectangle with another object inside has the is to relationship to the yellow circle with another object, also with another object inside. You need to determine the relationship of the gray rectangle with the red diamond inside and find the missing object among four different choices. Choices A, B, C and D. Take a close look to see if you can come up with the answer. Ready or not, I am moving forward to share with you final answer. And obviously, this is only my version of the solution. If you have a better way to solve it, please make sure to post in comments. You're probably tired of hearing this on this channel, but the key to determine the relationship is look for patterns. In this example, the inner object increases in size to become the background element for the next object. At the same time, the outer element reduces in size to become the inner object for the final shape. In addition, objects preserve the colors when changing their sizes. So to find the final answer, you need to look for the gray rectangle which decreases size and becomes the inner object in the foreground, where red diamond becomes the larger object in the background. Hopefully you've nailed this question and now know how to answer similar problems on the test. And now I have a question for you to test your skills. Please calculate the answer and post the answer in comments. This would allow me to give you my feedback. You need to count all dollar signs in the image. Take a close look at the image and see how many you can count. You have four different choices. Choice A, 6. Choice B, 7. Choice C, 8. Choice D, 9. Make sure to pause this video to get to the correct solution. And once you're ready, please make sure to post in comments so I can give you my feedback. Thanks for participating and good luck! Here's an amazing question to test your pattern recognition skills. You need to determine which shape comes next in the sequence. You're presented with three 3x3 three three square boxes. Inside the large square box, there are small shapes and fourth shape in the sequence is missing. You have four different choices to choose from to replace the fourth missing shape. Choices A, B, C and D. Take a close look to see if you can come up with the answer. Ready or not, I am moving forward and share with you the correct solution. I love these questions because there is a series of patterns that's happening here. To solve this challenge, most of the times you need to determine one or two patterns. Let's look at each pattern in more details. In the first square, diamond shape is in the upper middle section. In the next square, diamond rotates 90 degree clockwise. And now it is in the middle row to the right. In the next square, diamond is in the middle column at the bottom. So we can correctly assume that in the fourth shape, diamond would be in the middle row to the left. Alternatively, in the pattern 2, circle shape is changing its position to being in the center of the square to the new position in the bottom middle column. As part of pattern 3, the cross shape diagonally changes corners. And the most interesting is the pattern 4. In this pattern, the triangle shape is dependent upon position of the diamond. Triangle follows the diamond and is in the pattern of being either in the left or below of the diamond shape. This is why the correct choice here is choice D. Hopefully you've nailed this question and now know how to answer similar problems on the test. 
Thanks for watching. If you like the content, please give us a like and consider subscribing. Thanks for all your endorsement, support and patronage. For additional helpful information, please make sure to check out links in the description. For detailed list of available resources, I encourage you to check out resources page on our website, howtoanalyzedata.net slash resources. If you know someone who would benefit from this content, please consider sharing the link. Please leave the feedback, corrections or suggestions in comments. And all the best on your journey. I'll see you in my next video.